This is finger licking good. And no, I'm not talking about KFC. Is it worth? Okay, bitches, the McRib is back. I have never had this shit in my life. Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy, Joe Ratchet. I'm going to be trying the McRib today. Never had it, never experienced it. So today's the first time I'm going to try it. It came out December 2nd um, again. It's only probably gonna stay around for two months. So if you want to try McRib, now make sure you try it before the end of january made sure i got my large fries no salts over here mm -hmm. Ooh, oh it's seeping out there is the mcrib right here there you go and uh, ready for the krabby patty sound Ooh, let me just give this a little That smells good. Oh, I love it. It smells good. It smells... <sighs> oh, uh, I can't wait to eat it. Oh, gosh. Oh, okay. Let me actually drop this. Ooh, let me taste that barbecue already because it's on my fingers. This is finger licking good. And no, I'm not talking about KFC. I just also wanted to share that like, I, I also got like a 20 piece chicken nugget. Um, I was actually trying to get the spicy nuggets because like, rip the spicy nuggets. Like, why did they have to take that shit out? Why does it gotta be seasonal? Like, that is something that like, I will sign a petition for. Like, we need that all year round. But I got that as well because you know, I need some different flavors and textures up in here other than fries and a burger. I'm just that type of bitch. I actually like the bun. It's like actually crispy. Crunchy, crunchy, sorry. Y'all hear that? Maybe a little louder, one more time. There's also some, let me do a little reveal. Let's get this bitch topless. I don't know if y'all see it, but there is some steam coming off of this. This looks like a really long burger. I don't know. It has like some white onions and pickles and some barbecue sauce. It's time for the moment you've been waiting for. Duh. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's good. But I... Mm, mm, mm. Let me finish the first bite before I comment. Mm, I think this is good. Is it worth... Like, the $4 or something? I don't... I wouldn't. Honestly. But... It is good. I will admit that. Time to cleanse the palate with the chicken nugget. I do think that the mig rib is good, but it kind of reminds me of like something I could get in like a middle school lunch. Like just the large, I'm sorry y'all. I'm sorry if that's, if this, this might be an unpopular opinion, but this tastes like something I can get at like, literally at a middle school like cafeteria lunch except because it's so basic like this is so basic like it only has what like three ingredients on the inside plus the sauce and like the only thing that like i really like about this is the bread on the top like y'all heard me playing with the bread like that shit was nice and crispy for a fast food burger but it's good Will I get it again? Probably not. So it is currently the in-between between Christmas and New Year's. And like, you know, these days are just so meh. It's like filler days. So right now it's time for me to focus on like things I just want to get done before the year ends. Um, that's like producing some other videos. So check that out. I am putting other videos out there on my channel. 
Well, won't you look at that? There's literally only like two, three bites left. This is good though, TBH. But I also felt like it would be incomplete for me to just get fries with this. That's for me, maybe because I love chicken nuggets. So that's why I got the chicken nuggets too. I gotta show some love to my favorite. I am currently at 1,940 subscribers. Help me push through that 2K. I was trying to get it by the end of this year, but you know what? My original goal was to get 1,000 and I hit that in June. So thank you to everyone who has been supporting me and been watching me. I have tons of stuff I have planned for 2021. If there's any new stuff that you guys want me to see, oh, that was wrong. If there's any new stuff you guys want to see from me, please leave a comment down below. If you guys want to see me try anything, I'm honestly a down ass bitch. Let me know, like, it's cool. <sighs> Don't forget to breathe. <sighs> so just a little personal goal for YouTube. I was brainstorming for a video coming up soon to finish off my 12 days of Vlogmas. Go ahead and check that whole series out. But I was pretty much jotting down notes and um, my goals came up for the new year. And for YouTube, I'm going, I was thinking like, maybe I could hit 5K by the end of the year. But I was talking to my best friend, Nick, and he was like, bitch, push for the 10K. Like, and I was like, oh my God, 10K and like, it is possible, I really need to push myself and it would just mean a lot for everyone who's watching to share my videos. If you guys find anything interesting or entertaining, please share that, please share. I'm just really trying to boost my uh, online presence and it would be really dope if you guys help me out. <laughs> please. So just like another video that I have planned for the future is eating the burrito zilla that Matt Stoney ate from the iguanas in San Jose. If you guys know anything about that, I currently live in San Jose and that's something that is here exclusively here that Matt Stoney, a competitive food, food eater, that Matt Stoney, a competitive food eater from San Jose has eaten in like, I don't know, like two minutes or something, like under two minutes. Like, it's like a 36 inch burrito or something. Like some huge ass burrito. I'm going to try and attempt that. Like that would just be like, that'd be cool and fun. The airplane, you can hear the airplane. I'm frozen. All right, everyone, we are now on our last bite. Cheers! I have to take a little nibble. You know when you're like, caught, like mentally you're at that last bite, so you're like, let me relax. Just save the moment, save the flavor and the taste. That was good. Overall, I would probably give it like a six out of 10. That's my, that's for me, might be an unpopular opinion, but I'm not like the biggest fan of just like, that, um, I can't even put, put it into words, but the McRib is good, but I honestly wouldn't say I would order it again. So that's why I'm giving it a six out of 10. All right, everyone. Thanks guys for watching my McRib mukbang slash review. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to give this a thumbs up and subscribe down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. No such thing as a life that's better than your love yours thing is a life that's better than yours. No such thing, no such thing.